Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this Lego destruction. First, create a cylinder and make it a bit smooth and uh, also convert it to editable poly. Next, select the top face and set the ID to 5 or any number actually of your choice. And after you do that, create a fire container and make it jammed negative on the z-axis. Now create a phoenix source and select the cylinder and uh, animate the outgoing velocity. Uh, initially the number should be high and in frame 4 or 5 or something like that, make it drastically low to create this blast. Also make sure that you set the polygon ID to the number you set previously like you know 4 or 5. So now you can uh, see how we are getting this mushroom cloud and this shape is pretty essential when we convert this into you know geometries. Let's create a tie flow and add birth fluid, select phoenix, then add fluid force, select phoenix again, add shape, then you can see how the geometry is going to look like. Next add custom properties and select velocity magnitude in the custom float section. Uh, name this as velocity. Uh, you can name this as anything you want. Maybe I'm speed. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Next, let's add property transfer and select custom float. Oh, so now the start of the show mapping. So select mapping from float and select our channel, you know, the velocity or I'm speed. Uh, if you want to use my Lego brick model, I'll put the link in my description. It's free, so you can use it for anything. Uh, next, the material. This is the most important part actually. Uh, create a gradient ramp and create whichever color you desire. Play with the, you know, tiling and offset since there are no specific numbers that work. It's really your preference. So now if I render, I get this cool looking thingy. I added a plastic material and gradient ramp to this. So, you know, I'm getting this plasticky look. But, you know, I would highly suggest you to play around with it, you know, maybe add a dark background and make this destruction using light material or something like that. And I'm just eyeballing at this point. So anyway, this is the end of the tutorial. That's it, guys, actually. So the main parameters were, you know, in Thai flow, you had custom properties, property transfer and mapping. That's all you should do. And you're creating all those things through fluid simulation. So these are the two things. So anyway, I hope you learned something again from this tutorial and if you did, do leave a like and subscribe for more videos. As always, cheers!